Hey everybody and welcome back to Hello Dev World. I'm Rachel and congratulations, we made it through week one of 365 days of coding. Only 52 weeks left. If you don't know what 365 days of coding is, every day of 2021, I'm gonna be posting a challenge on my blog in the morning and then a solution also on my blog and on YouTube later in the day to that challenge. If you'd like to get that challenge in your email in the morning, I'm gonna put a link in the description down below to sign up for that. Today, we're gonna to create a function that accepts an array and an item, and we're gonna figure out how many times that item shows up in that array. So let's head over to the computer and get started. All right, so now that we're back at the computer, you can see I've added a comment about what we're gonna do today. We're gonna create a function that accepts an array and an item, and it's gonna go through that array and count the number of times that item shows up in that array. And we're not gonna ignore capitalization, punctuation, and spaces, because if you were actually using this for real world application, you would actually wanna know how many times your specific thing showed up. So you most likely would not want to ignore capitalization, punctuation, or spaces. So I'm actually gonna do two solutions today. So let's write out what each one is gonna do. We know for both of them, we're gonna need to create a function that accepts an array and an item. For the first solution, we're gonna create a variable for a counter. What this is gonna do is every time we go through a loop, we're gonna add one to the counter. So it's just gonna start at zero, and then as we count how many times we run into it, it's just gonna increment each time. Then we're gonna flatten the array that was passed to us. We're gonna loop through that flattened array. And for every time that the item that we want is found, we're gonna increment that counter. And then at the end, we're just gonna return the counter. So let's get started on this solution. First, we're gonna create our function that's gonna accept an array and an item. And we're gonna create that counter variable. Then we're gonna flatten the array. And here, I'm gonna use dot flat. You could use a recursive function if you want to, but now JavaScript has a built-in function that will do the same thing. And we're gonna pass it infinity. The built-in JavaScript function flat, the built-in function flat will flatten the array to the number that you give it. So if you give it a one, it will flatten to one layer deep. Since we don't know how many layers deep our flat is gonna be, we're gonna pass it infinity, and this will flatten it until there's nothing left to flatten. At the end, we're gonna have one flat array, and we wanna loop through that array. So I'm gonna use a for each loop, and if the item that we are currently on in that for each loop matches the item that was passed in, we wanna increment that counter. Otherwise, we wanna continue the loop. And at the end, we wanna return the counter. We're gonna paste our test into here and then we're gonna run this and we get exactly what we're expecting. All right, so let's comment out this solution and let's start writing out the next solution. While I'm typing this out, go ahead and smash that like button and make sure that you click subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss any of the challenges for the rest of the year. All right, for this function, let's talk about what we need to do. We're gonna again create a function that accepts an array and an item. I'm just gonna grab that from up here because we've done that already. Now this time we're not gonna create a counter, we're just gonna flatten the array. And then we're gonna filter the array to all of the items that match the item that was passed in. And then we're just gonna get the length of that array. So let's start coding this. We're gonna create our function that accepts an array and an item again. Then we're gonna flatten it again. And it's gonna be the same thing that we did before. We're gonna use dot flat with passing it infinity. And then we're gonna use dot filter. And what dot filter does is it creates a new array with all of the items that are from the original array that match the function that it's given. So for instance, we're gonna use a dot filter and we're gonna check if the current item that it's on matches the item that was passed. It's very much like a for each function, but this will create a new array of all the items that match rather than incrementing the counter. And then we just need to get the length of that new array. And if we return this and run this, we should get what we wanted again. So these are two possible solutions. There are definitely plenty more other solutions. So please put your solutions down in the description below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the challenges for the rest of the year. And I'll see you tomorrow.